Okay, so let's start. So there's an unexpected windfall of money coming in for you, which is excellent. So you might be getting a bonus. You might even win the lottery. So this could be an unexpected windfall coming in for you. It looks like a lot because you've got a big uh, hippopotamus over here. So And you're getting news about it because you've got the bird sitting on his bottom over there. Uh, you're going for a permanent position at the moment. So that could be uh, something coming in for you right now. And just watch out. Don't be spending too much of money. Until the windfall comes, try to curb your spending you need to slow down a bit. And I know this is difficult because this is a period running up to Christmas and maybe you're spending a lot of money buying Christmas presents, but, you know, slow down or look for something cheaper. So in the past, uh, you've got a need to budget and save some money. So you are having a little bit of financial difficulties over there and you do need to slow down on your spending. You need to save some money. So don't go overboard this Christmas. Um, now, you've got wasted efforts over here and gossip and rumors. So, uh, you know, you need a plan in place uh, so that you don't waste your time doing something, uh, you know, spending too, mu too much of time concentrating on the wrong thing and focusing on the wrong thing. And this usually comes from having no plan in place about what you want to do next. And there's a lot of gossip and rumors going on around you, maybe at your workplace. Maybe you're involved in gossip and, you know, maybe you're involved in some gossip as well. So, uh, you know, try and keep away from that. Uh, these things don't usually pay off. Um, and if there are gossip and rumors about you going around, ignore it. You know, they tend to blow over and, you know, these people have nothing better to do. So just ignore them. So uh, these are the energies for that, uh, those two weeks. Okay, so the main energies are the Four of Pentacles. So it looks like you might be spending your savings. Uh, so it looks like whatever you've saved, you are dipping into those. And that's not a good place to be at uh, because you're having a little bit of financial um, problems. So maybe, you know, you're overspending for this particular Christmas time and you are using too much of your, your savings to actually buy things. Uh, you need to stop that. You need to curb that. You need to put aside money. And uh, the only way you can hang on to it is by not overindulging or not going overboard, using up things that you have put aside for the future. <coughs> So a need to just watch your spending over there with that Four of Pentacles. You've got the Five of Cups over here crossed by the sun. So something's happened that has caused a, a bit of a problem. It might have been a crisis. There might have been something that you've been doing in the past that didn't work out. Maybe a job didn't come through for you. Something happened uh, that has left you quite distressed. It, it, it seems like it may have left you with financial problems as well. You've got this man sleeping on the mat over here rather than in a bed. So it's haunting you. It, it's upsetting you. Maybe you're not getting, maybe you're having nightmares about it. Uh, it looks like the cycle is coming to an end. You are trying to recover from whatever loss you went through um, and, you know, whatever financial problems you went through. But, you know, it, it still haunts you. It, it, it worries you. Maybe it was a mistake on your part. Maybe something happened. There was some crisis that happened and you're trying to get over it. Uh, but you're still uh, upset about it. You've got the sun card over here. So, um, you know, things are going to get better. So whatever your um, uh, problem you're going through, you are going to be able to get out of it because you've got the sun rays coming in over here. And, you know, uh, the sun usually brings in that positive energy and it usually gets uh, rid of any kind of problems. It's also a card of enlightenment. It's a card of doing things now. So if there's anything that you have to finish, stop procrastinating, make sure that you're doing it. It's also a card of, you know, if you're um, you're having a depression or upset, you need to go and take a little bit of a break, um, you know, have some fun somewhere, get in touch with people from your past, uh, you know, just to, re you know, get in touch with old friends, um, you know. And the Sun card also talks about whatever hard work you put in eventually starts paying off. So this might be all the things that you need to do. You need to just know that things are going to improve with the Sun card. You know, there is going to be some kind of news or information coming in that's going to just lift your spirits and it's going to be very positive. So whatever you're grieving about, whatever you're upset about, it's all going to turn out okay. Uh, you will get over it. Now in the past, uh, you've got the Six of uh, Cups over here. And, uh, you know, this card is talking about, you know, being stuck in the past, really, uh, trying, you know, whatever you're working with, maybe the ideas that you're employing within your work situation might be a bit old fashioned and maybe it's time for a change. Maybe you've been stuck doing the same old job for years and years and years. And now, you know, you you feel like uh, you know, you're going nowhere. 
it's just daily, uh, it's mundane, you, you, you know it off by heart, but it, there's no growth for you. Uh, this person's working by themselves, they're making these pots, um, you know, and they're doing it day in and day out, they seem to have aged in this job. So, you know, maybe it's a time uh, for you to move because you are, have become so stagnant in this particular job. You've been doing it for years and years and, you know, it's not causing any growth and you're not uh, improving. It's not improving your lot in life because it's not producing any extra money, uh, but, you know, maybe you're just so comfortable in it you don't really want to move now in the past three months or so uh, you've got the knight uh, the knave of swords so some kind of information has come in that has but you know rocked your boat a little bit over here it looks like something some uh, it could have been something legal something official has come in for you in the last three months that has changed the way you're seeing things or it, maybe it's caused you to be a bit upset or maybe it's uh you know maybe it's messed up with this stagnant energy that you have because you can see this man is almost pointing towards this and you know this news has come in and it was something that you didn't want to hear because if you look at this man he's got his hands over his ears and this knave of sword has brought in this information you know that's very cutting it's very direct this information and this man doesn't want to hear about it. So something has come in. You're not prepared to listen to it. And it is something that is, um, you know, changing your, it's upsetting your balance as well. And you're very upset about that. So you've got the hanged man over here. You've been working very, very hard. You've been waiting for something to come in uh, to change your life. So the hanged man is a very stagnant energy of not moving, but not being in a very good position. You, you know, you, there's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of hard work, hardship in what you're doing. These people are chained to the do job. They're working very, very hard. They're slaves to the job. Um, they're not getting any payment. You can see they're banging rocks and so they're doing a lot of things and, and they're people that are, uh, you know, work, they're working for that are giving them a, a lot of grief. Um, and, um, you know, they are really stuck in that position. So this is what's been happening with you. You understand or you realize that you're really stuck in this position. You're being bullied by your superiors and you're working very hard. You're very chained to the job. You're not getting paid very, very well. It's almost like you're working, uh, you know, uh, like a slave in it and you are aware of that so this has been playing on your mind and maybe this is the reason why you've got the five of cups over here and what you're crying about about the things that you didn't achieve maybe you have you're stuck in that position because you haven't gotten a promotion for a long time and this is something that has been upsetting you recently so what's going on for you in the future you've got the eight of cups over here so with the eight of cups is you need to make up some plans and you need to be more strategic about what you do. This woman is playing a game of chess over here and she's got these eight cups. Now, in order for you to move away from this kind of situation, you need to start having some plans in place. So you need to start making some lists, uh, maybe consulting with people, deciding how you want to do things. And that is the way you're going to be able to move away from this particular situation. And you do want to move, but you need to have some plans. You need to have a proper plan in place. You need to have proper CVs. You need to have proper information that you're putting out. So you have to be very practical uh, about what you want to do. And, and that is the way you're going to be able to move away from the stagnant situation that you were and from this regret that you're going through at this particular moment. So uh, what's happening with you? You know, you feel like you are, you want uh, your abundance to come in. You want abundance, sorry about that. You want abundance to come in. Um, you know, you are working hard um, and you, you know, you maybe you are working part, as part of a team and you are trying to, to make things move. You are trying to bring that abundance in with the four of ones is trying to accumulate that abundance or, you know, after working very, very hard. So these people worked hard to plant these grapes and now they're trying to uh, reap this. So maybe you're hoping or, or what you're waiting for is that payoff to come off from that job that you're working in and you might be working within the team. Now, what's going on around you? Uh, you've got the Eight of Swords. So somebody that you're working uh, with or working under, um, you know, they're quite difficult to work with. And the people that you're working with within this team that you're working with don't actually get along. You've got the Eight of Swords over here. So a lot of disputes happening here, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing going on. And you're having people to, you know, maybe it's you that's acting as a mediator with the, these people, but there's a lot of discord that is going on in that position that you're working in. It's not just like this wonderful team that you've got over here with the Four of Wands. It's actually in the Eight of Swords where people are arguing, there's fighting, there's, um, you know, maybe, um, you know, you can see that they're needing to call somebody in to sort out this dispute. And with the sword coming in over here, you know, the, the fighting tends to get, or the arguments tend to get pretty bad. So, you know, there's 
a lot of competition, people trying to sort things out. So that position that you're working in at the moment is not all as, you know, it's not as wonderful as, as you have uh, in your mind. You know that it's going to pay off eventually, but there seems to be a lot of arguments and fighting and disputes going on. And it seems like you do want to walk away from it with this Eight of Cups, uh, Eight of Chalices. You want to move away to something that is better, more harmonious. And you're trying to come up with a plan or trying to be strategic. You need to be strategic in order for you to move away into something more harmonious. Maybe there's a lot of problems going on with the people around you. So you want a position of leadership and you want a position where you're in management. Uh, so that's what you're trying to aim for with this Queen of Pentacles. And you want it to be a well-paid job and you're willing to put in the work for it. So And you're willing to be proactive about it. So that's what you're going for you're going for some kind of management position or something that is much calmer you want that harmony that music in your job and you are coming trying to come up with, you need to come up with a plan really you need to come up with a strategy so you've got the two of pentacles over here the three of pentacles over here and the nine of pentacles these are all work cards so the two of pentacles over here so you can see you're overworking and not making that much of money and you you can see you're trying to weigh, you're trying to actually save, uh, you know, money, put aside money. But whatever work or effort you're putting in, the job is not paying enough. So you're putting more effort in and not getting that much of pay. And you're also under supervision. So, you know, people are bullying you around, but you're not getting, it's not a job that pays very well for you. Now you've got the three of pentacles over here as well. So you can see that, you know, a lot of effort going into this work over here. So, uh, you know, a lot of effort to raise, uh, to accumulate money. And this, um, this is talking about working under somebody, working as a team, but working very, very hard uh, to try and uh, accumulate that wealth. And the last one is the nine of pentacles. So it looks like this job is not going to be something that pays you, you know, the one that you're working in now is not paying you very well. And you're going to go for a new job. Um, it looks like a different job uh, with the Three of Pentacles that is going to be something that you will be working hard, but it looks like it's going to be something that pays better. So something that brings in the money because you can see these people are producing a lot of this grain. Uh, as opposed to here, we've only got one bag of grain and not much of finance coming in from. But whatever the new job is that comes in for you, where you work within a team, it's going to be something that produces a lot of finance for you, a lot of abundance for you. And it allows you to be financially independent. So whatever work you, or effort you put in over here, with the Knight of Pentacles, the conclusion is you can see they've accumulated a lot of money and a lot of wealth. They're very financially independent and, you know, there's a lot of trading going on over here. And, you know, so it opens up the door for some, for your financial independence and it allows you to take on that leadership position. So you can look, it, it almost seems like once you get the second, uh, the, the new job, if you apply, put in an application for a, a, a new job and you start that new job, you will get promoted into a management kind of position that will put you right on the top and give you a, you know, a good payout. So maybe initially when this job offer comes in, you're going to have to work your way up, uh, you know, work very, very hard, uh, but it will pay better than the previous job. And it, you will soon get a promotion into some kind of management position, uh, you know, where you are doing the negotiations yourself or you're taking charge um, and you will accumulate a lot of wealth. So it looks like there's some kind of new job coming in. You're going to make a decision with the two of pentacles is making a decision to leave an old situation. So, you know, there's a choice card over here. You've reached a crossroads now. You've been juggling finances. The old job's not paying very well. So you make a decision to leave. Um, and, you know, you're getting a new job coming in over here with the Three of Pentacles, a lot of work and effort going into it, or even getting a raise, a promotion within that same field that's going to bring in a lot of abundance, working as a team. Maybe you become a team leader here. Uh, you know, maybe initially you start off working, uh, you know, um, and then as part of the team, and then you become the team leader. And then that gets you into a management position that actually uh, pays you very, very well, where you're not communicating with a lot of people. Uh, you know, you're doing sales or, or something, selling something to somebody outside of that, uh, more on, on an international footing is what I'm trying to say. So it looks like there's a good progression coming in over here. And that's going to be, you need to make that decision. Now, in order for you to, to reach that particular point, um, you have to walk away from this old situation, have a strategy in order. Uh, and, you know, whatever you decide to do, uh, if you have a good strategy, you can win uh, against competition. So this woman's facing that woman and she's winning this game of chess. So you need to have a proper strategy and plan in place. Uh, and, and you'll have more harmony in this new position that you go for. And all these disputes fall away. So instead of sitting over here in this old position and, you know, waiting to 
uh, not moving, being very, very stagnant. And instead of really worrying about all the things that you didn't do, the, the Sun card says this is now the time to act and the time to go for it. And, you know, forget what everybody else is doing. You have to walk your own path. Because he's leaving all these children behind and walking his own path. And you will be divinely guided. You've got the clouds slipping away over here and the sun coming out. So some luck is coming in for you. So it's time now for you to make plans, especially as, as we're ending this old year, and move forward. Um, and, you know, don't overspend. You have to start being very proactive and think about what you're doing. So a uh, time to focus on yourself and a time to do things for yourself. And if you don't do it, nobody else will do it for you. And you will end up being stuck in the same position and wondering why things are not moving. So this is the Ten of Summer from the Fairy Tarot. It says, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. So it looks like you're going to be spending some quality time with family and friends and having a good time. And that's coming up soon. So maybe reconciling with uh, old family and friends. And that's coming in with the Ten of Summer. The Two of Springs says, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams Good progress being made. So it looks like things are moving on. It looks like there might be somebody around you that's going to be helping you or giving you some advice. Or you're going to be working in a good team, um, you know, with the two of springs, like the two of rods. So working with somebody that's going to be very, very supportive and good progress being made. The last one is the seven of winter. There is a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. So it looks like the first thing you need to do is face the truth of the situation. You see this man, he, he doesn't want to hear what this uh, knave of swords has got to say. So some information is going to come in. You need to open up yourself to listen to that information. And that's going to be the information that brings about all this change. If you are not open to change, then you will be uh, stuck in that situation. And, uh, you know, you'll be just going round, round circles and not... Uh, getting anywhere so don't run away from the truth you need to stand there face it even if it's a harsh truth uh, because the knave of swords it you know he usually just tells it like it is and it's really you know you, sometimes it's not what you want to hear I mean that's why this man's ears are closed so you just need to listen uh, and uh, this is the thing that's going to spur you on into the future to get uh, you know, that position that you want, that leadership position and accumulate all these funds with the Nine of Pentacles. 